North, we're proud to have a dedicated corporate social responsibility programme. Through the programme, we are able to fulfil our social and environmental responsibilities. And in particular, we focus on a number of values. The workplace, the environment and the local communities. Particularly where we have offices on a global basis and particularly in the North East in Newcastle where our headquarters are based and where we have our largest corporate footprint. Our North 150 Fund was established in 2010 when we received donations from our ship owner members and also from our business partners as part of recognition of our 150th anniversary. Since that time, the fund has continued to benefit from annual donations from the company, supported by our ship owner board of directors, and the total amount contributed to date is in excess of £650,000. We have used these funds in a number of ways to donate to local charities and organisations that are nominated by our staff and also importantly to develop relationships with local groups, communities and charities. In addition to our social and community obligations, we are very aware of our environmental obligations and this extends across all of our offices and we work continuously to ensure that our offices are operated in an environmentally friendly and responsible way. Finally, none of this would be possible without the support of our staff. We are privileged to have a fantastically motivated workforce at North throughout all of our offices and they ensure that our CSR programme is a continuing success. The CSR committee is responsible for administering the North 150 Fund. We do this by considering the charities which have been nominated for donation from our staff against predetermined criteria including does the charity have a maritime link, how many people will benefit from the money donated and is there a personal link with the staff member to the charity. North also has a dedicated volunteer team who have spent days out of the office to support some of the organisations we work with. We also encourage fundraising activities within the office amongst our staff and some of the activities carried out so far include charity bake sales, sponsored walks, company bike rides, as well as the occasional dressing down day. The Community Foundation is a local organisation which we have become involved with and it's enabled us to extend our charitable reach even further in the region. Some of the organisations we have engaged with through the Community Foundation are the Gateshead Food Bank, as well as the mooring of a tall ship at Blythe, a local port in the northeast. Over the last six years, we've had some amazing experiences and worked with some amazing people, from the RNLI visiting our offices to deliver life-saving skills, to sponsoring our own snow dog. We are both humble and proud to have worked with all of these organisations, and we sincerely hope this is just the beginning. The campaign is in support of St Oswald's Hospice Children's Service, um, and it's based around the story of the snowman and the snow dog. It chimes so closely with what we do with a lot of children through our children's service, our bereavement service, where we learn that we will all lose something or someone that we love. And we are being challenged as a children's service at St Oswald's to do increasing amounts of work with children who are bereaved. Well, their dog is designed to reflect. Uh, he's called Jack. He's designed to reflect the sea and everything that, that is culturally special about the North East. And, and I think the gold touches just indicate that we think this is a golden city uh, and a golden part of the world. Having support of, of big, iconic international brands like North is really vital to this campaign because it puts a marker down to say that they recognise that they're part of a community and they are supporting that community. But if you think about it, you put in context what North are doing, £20 for an hour's nursing, multiply that up. You're also providing the money to allow us to do a huge chunk of stuff with our children's service. These are the things that, that we can only do because we get things like £6,000 from the North Group. North have contributed £7,000 towards the RLI in the local area, uh, particularly towards King Edwards Bay, towards the, the equipment and the facilities there. So without that sort of contribution, um, the lifeguards wouldn't have the equipment that they needed to go and rescue. So the lifeguards' uniforms, £872. So North have contributed enough to pretty much kit out eight lifeguards, which is fantastic. The lifeguards' uniforms, uh, it helps them be identical to the public, it keeps them warm, it protects them from the sun. 
and that's really important. Norfolk support is vital because without it, uh, we wouldn't be able to equip our lifeguards with the equipment that they need to do the job and help them to, put, to make those preventative actions. Uh, it's quite easy to see the statistics where we've said we've helped someone and we've laid hands on them. But what's really important with lifeguard and prevention is it's really hard to measure how many people we've spoken to that then don't get into trouble. So the lifeguard role is really important and the equipment provided uh, it makes a big difference. Ocean News North is a small charity based in North Shields. Uh, we work on the personal development of, of, of young people. Um, we work with about 500 young people each year on two boats. What we've done this year is that the North actually sponsored a voyage for a group of young people. The group went on a, on a five day voyage which would normally cost about £8,000. North provided um, a substantial amount of, of, of that money. It was a great opportunity for them, you know, almost a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to, to come on a big boat like this um, and, and be allowed to take command of it. But there's lots of things that they, at that stage, they don't actually see that they've, they've picked up, like self-confidence, like resilience. The support we get from North is not just, just financial. Um, we've, we've had the staff coming down to the boat during the winter to help us with our refit and that's been a great, a great help to us. Without support like people like North, we wouldn't be able to carry on um, changing lives and inspiring futures. Northumberland Cricket Board uh, is the, the governing body for, for cricket in, in Northumberland. Uh, the main role for us is to train and enthuse people to, to play cricket. We're a non-profit making organisation. The partnership with North uh, came from a conversation I had with Paul Jennings. Uh, he set us a bit of a challenge just to say, well, we're not just going to give you money for, for what you're already doing. It's how can we provide different types of opportunities. So the whole idea was the fact that it was every Sunday afternoon there will be a festival somewhere in the county. It's what we wanted to try and provide is ways and means for these kids just to play against other children. The investment that came in was, was £5,000, which is, is a fantastic amount for us. I mean, there's over a thousand kids have had opportunities and that's not going to end there. No support is vital because it provides so many opportunities for, for children to play cricket. We want as many people as possible to experience the game that we've loved for all of our lives. Without that investment, we would, wouldn't even have got the, the project off the ground. Uh, we feel that we're in a really fortunate position to ensure that the, the game's in a, a really vibrant place for the, I suppose, next generations. Mm -hmm.